In this video, we're gonna be discussing five tips to bring you one step closer to getting your first internship. So what I suggest before kind of looking into any of these tips is searching some jobs. Obviously you're here on this channel and stories because you're interested in engineering at UBC. So search up some jobs, um, whether you're already in engineering, you have a discipline to narrow it down or not, just kind of see what you're interested in. So tip number one is doing a personal project. So a personal project is a fantastic way to get technical experience, obviously without having a job. And the nice thing about this is you have complete freedom over what you want your project to be about. So once you get a sense of what these skills are that are required for the jobs that you're interested in, you can go ahead and pick a project. So basically you can pick one of the skills or one of the ideas, let's say you're interested in a bioinformatics job and you need to know how to um, code in R, and then you just think of a project and you code in R. It's another quick example, if you are interested in mechanical engineering and you have access to a shop or something like that, you know, you can, or tools, you can build something, you can build a desk, you can, you know, work on a car, things like that. So the next tip is a little bit similar and that is to join a club or a design team. So this is very similar as it has all of the exact same benefits. You're, you know, showing initiative, you're doing stuff outside of class to set you apart and you're also gaining technical skills without requiring to have to apply to a job. However, this could be better for people who maybe don't have as much self-discipline or kind of have a hard time, you know, when you do a personal project, it's really all up to you. Whereas a design team there's or a club, there's other people keeping you accountable. Hi, my name is Rina. I am one of the vice presidents for the Women in Engineering High School Mentorship Program. And throughout the past year, I have gained a lot of experiences and skills through my position. Some of the main ones being organization, communication, as well as leadership. Honestly, it has been such a rewarding position because we have been able to contribute to the betterment of high school students while simultaneously improving my interpersonal, self-management, and collaborative skills. Tip number three is to connect with your professors. So a great way to do this is every year when you get your new professors or mentors, really anyone who's in your field of interest, figure out kind of who you're most interested in their research or their job, if they kind of align with your values and things like that and start going to office hours, you know, ask them about their research. If you're genuinely interested, they would love to talk about it. I mean, it's what they do for a living. They're also passionate. This is a great way of learning more about the field and also increasing your chances of getting a position just due to your connection and they already know you. So the next tip is to join the co-op program. So the co-op program is competitive at UBC, so um, you're not automatically placed in the program. You do have to apply and you can do this after first or second year. So once you're in the co-op program, basically they give you resources for networking. You know, there's special industry nights um, solely for co-op students. They give you access to practice interviews like cover letter, resume feedback, things like that. And then probably the most beneficial that I've used so far is their PD portal for job searching. So every single weekday they post tons of jobs and it sorts easily like per program. So the job will list what program um, they would like to attract students from. And then you can just easily apply, keep track of everything. And some companies will only post jobs through um, UBC co-op, for example. So lastly, I just wanted to go over two quick tips the first one is when you are doing an interview, make sure you do the STAR method. So that is situation, task, action, result. So if they ask you a question, a situational question or something like that, you wanna answer with the situation, just one sentence, what the vibe is, you know, what the situation is, and then the task that you were assigned or you had to complete, the action you took, and then the results. So either what you learned about it, um, learned from it, or what the result was. So for example, you know, I did X, Y, Z, and then we got first place in the science fair competition, something like that. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Happy applying.